This video is going to walk you through how to program the robotic arm. If you haven't done so already, please go and get a blank motor, just like this, and I'm going to have you get four of these black pieces. Two of them are going to go above the um, circle, just like this, and then there's one going to go into this orange piece here, one into this orange piece here, and just get any long rod that you see here. What I then want you to do is I want you to flip the motor upside down and attach it to the, um, if you're looking at the robot, the left side. So again, the word Lego will now be upside down on the motor and your attachment will be on the robot just like this. Going back to the NXT software where it says start new program, just go ahead and name it arm program and then go ahead and click on go. This is not a part of the robot educator, so you can get rid of the robot educator to the right by clicking on the small X. If you want to get it back at a later time, just go ahead and click on the Lego piece and it will reappear. The first thing we're going to have our robot do is we're going to have it move straight for uh, one rotation, so we are going to keep this as the standard. The second block is we are going to have our robot turn to the right at a speed power of 50% and we're only going to have this turn for about 190 degrees. Now one thing to keep in mind that when I type in 190 degrees that just means that the motors or the wheels are going to be turning 190 degrees that does not mean the robot is turning physically 190 degrees. Physically, the robot is only turning about maybe um, maybe about 80 degrees physically. Okay, so that was our second block. Then the next thing we want our robot to do is stop. So for the third block, I have forwards, backwards, and I'm going to go ahead and click on stop. Now the next blocks are where we are actually going to bring in the arm attachment. So the arm is a motor, so we want to continue to get a move block. And this is where it gets a little different. So you'll see that the standard selection is B and C. What we want is motor A, which is where you should plug the motor into. So if we look back at the picture, the cable here should be plugged in to A. Think of A for arm. So we want A to move, but we do not want the base or the wheels to move. So we are going to unselect B and C. So the only letter we should see in the top right corner is A. And what we are going to do is we are actually going to um, click on backwards for the direction. And we are only going to give this a power of 30%. And we want this to um, go for 90 degrees. So go ahead and click on degrees, and then go ahead and click on 90. And I'll explain why we're doing um, the directions in a minute. Then what I'm going to have you do is go ahead and add another move block. Go ahead and select A, unselect B and C. Keep this one direction as forwards. Change the power to 100% and the duration also to 90 degrees. Now, what I, the reason I wanted to go back and tell you is because to this program, it looks like the arm is moving down and then it's going to be going up. But I just want to point out in this picture that our motor is on upside down. So in this case, up is down and down is up. And it's okay that our motor is upside down. We can attach this to the robot however we want. But again, we need to understand that if you are looking at the motor from the side and the word Lego is upside down, then in this case, down is up. So for this block right here, our, our arm is going to be moving up at a power of 30% for 90 degrees. And then it's going to come down at 100%. For 90 degrees. At this time, you can go ahead and download the program onto your robot, test it out, and let's see what I need.